I have a relative that's black as me. At Ultra Skin Tone Cream, or they call it bleaching cream, different names. And you know, the Negro don't want to spend too much on his hands. His hands is black. Uh, niggas' eyes, you can't put it in your eyes to so burn them. So, oh, yeah, the niggas look like coons. Yes, they do. They look like a, a damn coon. I said that, uh, uh, you be light, same color as I am, r right around here and stuff. And uh, your eyes is black. I said, that's a damn coon there, brother. You know, not that I'm saying brother, but it's that close. Anyway, look, uh, I know, or I don't know, but I feel like, uh, some of the things that we're talking about here feel, could feel uncomfortable sometimes, but it ain't. It's the nicest thing. I'm only talking from experience. I have lived and had the best of everything they got to offer. The best cars, the best money, the best clothes, the best everything. I already had it. And it ain't good as what, what's going on now because of the environmental circumstances. By the time you get that money, you have to turn into an Al Sharpton. You have to turn into a Hollywood person. You know what I mean? You have to be that. And they're all crazy. The, all the ones that I knew was crazy because uh, the environmental circumstances of their wealth. Okay. I'm not sure, but I don't have, I have a feeling that nobody would vote themselves into what we're doing. They wouldn't want the job. So we, the job we have is fine because nobody wants it. <clears throat> it's the best job in the world. It is just the best job in the world. You can't lose with it. Uh, so the reason I wanted to listen to that is I, the guy made stuff a little funny, but it was all true. And any of the, the faults that even a guy making sense like that has is we're not impressed by the Jews. He has a serious fault. Whatever you do, you got to have money. If you don't have money and the Jews got the money and therefore I'm a Zionist. You know, I am a Zionist. All old Negroes were Zionists. They didn't know. Cause go down Moses, way down in Egypt land. Tell old Pharaoh, let the people go. And everything the Negro ever heard about that was those are the good people. They didn't know that uh, the, 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 the Hasidic Jews was against Zionism. They didn't know all of that. They're finding out now. I'm saying all that to say is uh, I know that, uh, well, I know what we're doing is right. I absolutely, I'm certain of that. I'm not, uh, but uh, the time we're living in is different than past periods. The time we're living in right now it's not guaranteed. Like, you can't say, well, uh, in 15 years, when my children get through school, uh, da 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 da. You could have said that before. Because if a person of a certain age, maybe all their kids got through school and they, they jumping into something, that's temporary. All of that's temporary. The stuff to come, Nobody has no idea what things are going to look like in 10 years. Don't talk about 15 or 20 years. We have to do right now. Us. And I'm talking about us right here. You can't count on the Negroes. You can't count on them. Either they crazy and don't know. They bought in. Masjid al-Islam is this. Masjid. You come here, you don't find none of that. None of it. 
So I'm still pushing the concept of uh, uh, let's give it a shot. Because uh, at a certain time in life, uh, when you think about the future, just look at it now. Does boss man have our families in number one spot? We're thinking about them. Is it? Does boss man even know a certain people exist at all? And if he do, does he care? And if it's anybody thrown off the boat, who will pull the first number? There they go. We already know the, the, the drill. So, uh, but also, just like when there's this bad stuff going on, there's also the good. I feel that we have a responsibility. Uh, by the numbers, there's people in the world trying to arrange the world for good. And it's not a lot of them. And our request would be, well, let's get our part and we'll meet up with those people as we go. It ain't nothing else going to be better. If somebody got lucky and lived to be 75 or 80, it would probably be different then. 90, probably people would be living 100 by then. And uh, what would the world look like then? Compared to where it's headed now, will it be cleaned up? Would it be? I didn't just come to this idea last week. I've been thinking about this for 40 or 50 years. I've been thinking about the world for, let's say, 50 years. But I was thinking about it before when I was traveling all around the world. And I saw all that poverty. I said, man. Sickness and poverty and all of that. And the world is still like that. And we're over here, I would tell the people, I said, no, in America, the rich people are skinny and the poor people are fat. That don't make sense. I said, well, just go on over there and see. Get yourself a ticket. Go see. i show you pictures if you want. I said, in America... The fat people that eat all the starch and they eat all of that sugar and eat all that they have. I said, they got soda pops over there, you know, that are 44 ounces. 32 ounces is a middle, that's a, 32 ounces. A 24 ounce is just like a, might as well be coffee. They got coffee. I said, because over everywhere else, they got little cups of coffee. I said, they don't drink that stuff in America. You could be in starve to death. I said, you got to. I said, I'm a regular human being. I cannot get, I don't buy less between a 16 ounce and a, I could get a 12 ounce thing a cup. But I mean, it ain't going to do no good. I mean, it will. I could taste it and it'll get a little buzz. But anyway, uh, I just say, like I, I feel, uh, dear brothers, for this region, if we don't do this job, anybody, I don't even see, I haven't seen nobody even thinking about it. And we're all earthlings, <laughs> you know, and then our kids are earthlings too. So let's put it like this. You trust boss man with your kids? Do you trust boss man? The regular old boss man, the same one we all know. That MF is, hey man, okay. Uh, we're, we're stepping into a new arena. And this arena, everything that everyone has heard has to be used because we going into this like of a person that have seen management, heard management, and know what leadership is. 
everybody has to move up and then somebody come in under them and they manage them. And then everybody moves up. The stuff that we got to do now is uh, not for me to sit here talking all the time. We got to, this, this is what's happening now. It's critical. Uh, I thought maybe a couple of years ago, we just, I was just on cruise. We're just like uh, longevity. Da, 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 da. But then things start accelerating. I mean, fast. So if you take two, three, four years, not even that far back. Well, shoot, in, in uh, France, they had uh, heat waves, 108 degrees. And guess what? They don't have air conditioning in, in France. Why? Because it don't get hot. <laughs> they don't have it. And then England here lately. And that one about within the Arctic Circle, it was 98 degrees, and I've been in the Arctic Circle. And When it gets, it, the sun comes out, you'll see the white folks, oh, I mean, they're out. I'm talking about 65 degrees. They're out. They almost take off all, they just, uh, you probably saw it on movies, but they're out there. That's why they like sun so much. They're out there just, oh, my God, feel that warmth. It's like you sit in a car on a warm, on a, even a cool day is warm inside the car. And you if you sit there a few minutes, you'll be asleep. And that's a good sleep because it's cold outside, but it's nice in there. Just call it a little light warm. Anyway, the world, uh, if you try to guesstimate or estimate how long the world is going to be here, the way it is now, the way things are going, and the way they're changing and upgrading, they're not upgrading nothing, and it's not fast enough, and it's not to the point. Uh, so uh, if Allah wills, I would like to be a part of a, institutionalized, uh, structured movement where we could get uh, stuff done. We're already going to use all our stuff for this institute. And that's, but it needs, it, this is, the, this is, a, this is a, a work period, not a work period where you get tired all the time and shoveling concrete or nothing. But a conscientious work, informational uh, involvement time because the people that's running they're not even close they're not even uh, they don't care they got people taking baths still in the Ganges River and that's the dirtiest river in the world it's not even right because some old custom they used to purify all the sewers in India run into the Ganges and they, they go right out there because of, a, that, that's the way people are here, because of a custom, because of a teaching, because of the way thing was done a zillion years ago. They're going to go and bathe in the dirtiest river in the world and expect to be purified. Okay, well, it's the same over here. Everything is the same stuff. Everybody... Instead of walking one block, I'm not against cars, but I am in a way. We got too many. The problem in America is simple. Get rid of, all, get rid of enough of the cars and the people have to walk to the store like they used to. Right? They have to walk where they go. Even if they walk from here to the subway, that's more than they... I'm not saying that. I watch some of the people I know, they don't move. They move from the house to the van. Finished. One out of the crew was physically fit. But nobody else is physically fit. 
They wouldn't even know what, and you can't make them do it. And they, they preach against it because I talk of that family talk. We'll, I used to have, we'll have little family runs in the woods and everybody is doing Then the people start talking against it. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what it Yep, I said, well, I don't know a whole lot, but I've talked to hundreds of people. Physical fitness. <clears throat> and everybody was in shape. The reason I started those projects, I said, okay, y'all don't know nothing about housing. If we put up just a little shack, you'll know what's behind the walls and what, you know, it won't, all the mystery is gone. Because you help put it together. Oh, you just put up frames, sir, and then you stick a wire through there. 